Welcome back to another episode with PixumWeb. In today's episode, we're going to go over how to use a snippet of code uh, to improve the performance of your website um, online. This is going to improve your overall performance and it's going to improve your score with tools like Pingdom Tools, um, which is a, a free online service that uh, gives you some great overview on the performance of your website. So the snippet of code we're going to use is to be used in your HT access um, file in the root directory of your website, whether it's a WordPress powered website or another website. But my site is based on WordPress, um, so this is for WordPress installation. All right, so now the um, as you can see, when we look at the grade on Pingdom Tools, uh, we have an 87 and we have a load time of 954 milliseconds. All right, so that's pretty much that. Now, if we look at the performance in grade, we see some more information. We have a 100 on each of these specific areas here, um, a 95 there, but we have a zero here. So this is some stuff that we can improve upon, and I want to go over how to do that today. So I'm just going to go over to my text editor, and you will see that this is an AC access file that I'm working with. All right, so I'm just going to put in a snippet of code right above the um, opening if module mod rewrite for WordPress. I'm going to put it right there. Copy and paste. All right, so this is what we are working with. Let me just put a little space in between that. And that's how you see what I'm working with here. Let's save that file. All right, so this is the expires cache This is going to help you leverage browser cache for uh, several assets uh, that typically should be cached. Uh, your images, your CSS files, your HTML, PDFs, JavaScript files, um, etc. So these things are some of the items that will cache and for the duration of time. So this is not an in-depth HD access tutorial. This is just a quick code snippet that you can use and I'll place this in the uh, comment section I mean, in the description below, uh, so you can copy and paste it. Um, a HTML access file is, you know, an uh, important file for your website. So I would be very careful and make sure um, you, you know, put it in properly. Um, because if not, then it can cause some issues. But um, if you are familiar with how to use it, this is a good snippet to use. All right, so I'm just going to FTP this up to my um, website, into my server. And then let's go back. First thing I always recommend, make sure you didn't break anything. So go to your site, take a look, make sure it reloads and it's not causing the white screen of death. All right, so now let's take a look at these numbers again. 87, 954. Let's see what this takes care of. Okay, so now as you can see, we have uh, different numbers. Instead of 87, um, we have a 97 score now. Um, so now the website is faster than 91% of tested websites. Um, it's 963 milliseconds. So it jumped up a little bit here. That could have been for various reasons, uh, like latency, or maybe there was some other people jumping onto my site that might have given it a slight impact. A lot of things can do that. So that's not a, a drastic thing. But let's look at a performance grade. As we can see now, where previously said leverage browser caching, it's now a 92. So instead of a zero, we're at 92. These are some other items we could work on, and I'll do that at a later point. But just to get the basics of it, this is what, how powerful a little snippet of code going into your HC access uh, file, um, how it can increase the performance and the grade of your website. Let's test it again just to make sure. And you're going to see that the grade is still the same. Okay? So that's uh, why the HC access file is such a powerful tool. And a code snippet like that can um, improve your overall grade and performance of your website. Um, as you can see, the, the load time you know varies, but typically tends to be under one second, um, which is a great... Uh, load time by today's standards, you know, websites are getting heavier, bigger, larger, things of that nature. So uh, this is just one small step you can use to increase the performance of your website. And that's by using the caching 
um, uh, potential of the HD access file. So I'll put this code snippet in the description below so you can copy and paste it. Make sure to only use this if you are familiar in how to use the uh, HD access file on your server. Um, I do not recommend, you know, changing the code directly on the server. You should probably do it on your computer and then use, you know, FTP so you can upload it. Or if you feel comfortable doing it in your control panel, you can do it that way as well. It's all based on your experience and um, knowledge and how to work with these files. So hopefully you found this uh, tutorial um, helpful. Again, it was just basically to inform you on how you can use that snippet of code to increase your overall grade and load time of your website. And it's something that you know, it was recommended to do since it'll just improve the overall user experience. Um, if you have any thoughts, ideas, or questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll take a look at that. And uh, make sure to subscribe since we're going to go over other topics on how to improve your uh, website and how to, you know, optimize it for search engine optimization, user experience, social media marketing, and other aspects of owning a website. Hopefully you find it helpful. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.